My name is Bruce Munro and I'm an artist mainly working in light. My first impression of Albany was it reminded me very much of my hometown in Devon. It, it's extraordinary um, when you spend a little bit of time in a place how much there is to learn. I'm very interested in time and place and I've used light over the last number of years to try and express these themes. The Field of Light was inspired initially by a visit to Uluru. It consists of some acrylic stems and then there is a fibre optic fibre that goes through the stems and that connects a glass sphere. So if you have a light source at one end, the light travels down the fibre optic and that goes into the sphere and lights it up. When I visited the National Anzac Centre for the first time, we were looking at a number of places to possibly do an installation and the Avenue of Honour was just such a moving space. I've never created literally an avenue of light and it felt extremely relevant to place the field of light under the trees to coincide with the 1418 centenary of the Anzacs. The predominant colours for the Field of Light will be green, white and gold. And they're the colours of the New Zealand flower, which is cowhide, and the Australian wattle. With war, we have to have a positive message. This museum and this whole space is a commemoration for people who have given their lives. But it's also a, um, a message to us all that we mustn't do this again. And if the Field of Light stands for anything, is let us live in peace, not in war. I would love people to come and see the installation, but th there are so many reasons to come to Albany anyway. And this is hopefully uh, a small but important commemorative time. And I hope they'd come and enjoy it.